The first step in XPS data processing for many samples is to fit the carbon 1s peak, uh, particularly if we're going to use adventitious carbon as a charge correction. Uh, this procedure that I'm going to show here is a good starting point for fitting adventitious carbon and also a good starting point for fitting uh, general organics on a surface. So the first step is to go into our quantification parameters box and we're going to create a background under regions and generally I use a Shirley background and we'll set our endpoints for the background and then under components we're going to create a component and then uh, three more and we'll just move those over. The first peak will be our aliphatic component. So that's carbon bound to carbon and carbon bound to hydrogen. The second peak will be our alcohol and ether component. So carbon bound to, singly bound to oxygen. Uh, the third component will be ketones. And the fourth will be esters and acid functionality. The alcohol peak, generally I set it at about uh, 1.5 EV above the aliphatic peak. So I, we're, we're changing our position constraints, so A plus 1.5. For the ketone, I generally start with A plus 3. And for our acid functionality and ester functionality, we're going to do that at about a plus 4 to start with. Now these can range quite a bit. Um, alcohol functionality can range anywhere from plus 1.1 to 2 EV above the main peak. Uh, ketones 2.8 to 3 EV and esters and acids could be 3.6 to 4.3 EV above the peak. But we can, we can change that later as we, this is just a starting point, so you can change that later as you, if you have the resolution within the spectrum to suggest that. You also should watch out for carbonates, they're going to be plus 4.5 or so uh, above, above the main peak. And generally I set, for something like adventitious carbon, I generally set the full width half maxes to all be the same. That, that won't, again, won't necessarily be the case for, for everything. If you have the resolution in the peak and you can see that it's narrower or broader, you can change that later. But this is just a starting point. So A times 1, A times 1, and A times 1. And if we hit fit, that's a pretty reasonable fit for for adventitious carbon. We're going to add in our components so that we can see where they are. And then we can just save this uh, some some generic files uh, for say carbon 1s generic and we have this as our starting point that we can then propagate to other files as we see fit.